，线上的好朋友，大家好，我是主持人钟燕玉，我杨树坤，全民开讲，今日要介绍一本杂志，本大家看，有关全球人权、老中高信仰、破坏议题，很多杂志。第二本杂志是意大利新型宗教研究中心创办人马西莫·因特罗维奇博士，加专业性，连美国帕琼都十分肯定。第二本杂志已经有八十万篇，有关台湾当局破坏太极门的传闻。但听下来了解，因特罗维奇博士说明的行动杂志做乜嘅？特别注意太极门教案，从下来看一段影片。My name is Massimo Introvigne, and I'm the editor in chief of a daily magazine on human rights and freedom of religion or belief, normally called FORB in international organizations called Bitter Winter. We are a small organization, basically four or five people working every day, and many others uh, writing articles, uh, more or less, occasionally. Uh, for uh, three years in a row, 2019, 2020, 2021, Bitter Winter has been the most quoted source uh, in the U.S. Department of State. Uh, reports uh, on uh, religious freedom. In the last report, we are quoted uh, 85 times, meaning we are more quoted, for example, of the New York Times. And that's not to, uh, to say we are very good, uh, but to say we have been recognized as a reliable source for information about uh, uh, religious liberty. So one of the main campaigns uh, of Bitter Winter, and we even have a special section for it, is the campaign on behalf uh, of uh, uh, Taiji Men. Uh, why did we decide uh, to do this? Of course, it's not the only campaign. For instance, uh, uh, we run a very successful series on the persecution of the uh, Akhmadiyya community and uh, another one on anti-Semitism. So we cover a large number of issues, either every day we publish two articles or more. But why among our campaigns uh, did we pick up uh, Taiji Men? Because uh, we believe uh, uh, Taiji Men uh, is uh, an internationally important case. Uh, because uh, here we have uh, several typical or perhaps even stereotypical ways of discriminating uh, against uh, spiritual or religious groups. We have uh, accusations of uh, fraud and uh, criminal prosecutions. Happily, they failed against uh, the leader of Taiji Men, Dr. Hong, and uh, his co-defendants. We have uh, uh, media campaigns of uh, fake news against Dr. Hong and Taiji Men. He was even ridiculously uh, accused of raising goblins. And we have something extremely important, and that is the use of taxes as a tool of discrimination and uh, persecution. This is crucial, because in a way taxes are clean, there is no blood on the floor, but they may destroy a spiritual uh, movement. And this has been done against Taiji men, and this has been done in other countries against other groups. We often propose the comparison, Jehovah's Witnesses, for instance, in France, although they finally won at the European Court of Human Rights. So this so-called clean persecution is a very effective and in its own way terrible persecution. So the case of Taiji Men 
is important not only for Taijimen and not only for Taiwan. It is important for the world because it shows one of the main ways our rogue bureaucrats uh, persecute uh, innocent and uh, even uh, worthy uh, religious or spiritual movements. So for reason, reason uh, we believe uh, we uh, have been uh, successful with our campaign on Taiji Men. Uh, our readers have understood why we so much insist on Taiji Men and we plan to continue the campaign. As one uh, of our uh, editors say, in this sense, in fighting persecution, we are all Taiji men. Thank you. To John Interovici, Bosco Conge, the type given Gawan Zong, Kondo Liu Mang Gonio, Yong Vi Fa Kosoi, Konkian, No Pohoi, Tai Gimonge, Fong Se, Yajuhe, Pohoi, Zong Gao, Xin Yonge, Tsu Yu, Gin Yimi, Tai Gimon Suke, Mm, Dan Jahe. 对世界也独重要 the topic of today's press conference, the so-called Taijimen case, is highly relevant for the entire world. I am Marco Respinti, an Italian national. I work as a journalist and I serve as director in charge of Bitter Winter, an online magazine that daily informs on religious liberty, violations, and the state of human rights throughout the world. Bitter Winter has now a special section on Taijimen and its case. So far, we have published more than 80 articles in that section, and this indicates the importance of this serious case. Taijimen Shifu and Dizi have now come to the round figure of 25 years of persecution, during which all sorts of wrongdoings has been perpetrated against them. It is hard to believe, especially because Taijimen is completely innocent of all accusations. As courts of law have stated, demonstrated, and repeated several times. Nonetheless, the persecution continues to this very day. Here is my first point for today Justice dilated is justice denied. After 25 years of false accusations, it is simply to conclude that some branches of the Taiwanese government or some Taiwanese officials are blatantly denying justice to Taiji men, or to say it differently, are committing a serious injustice. Now, the chief accusation against Taiji men is tax evasion. Again, courts have proven this accusation false, but one thing emerges grandly from this false accusation. As taxes are paid by citizens of a state, for example, the Republic of China, to receive services aimed at the common good, taxation imposed in an exaggerated, unjust and or unlawful way violates citizens' fundamental right to liberty and private property and amounts to persecution, which is another name for violence. What is particularly unacceptable here is that this violence is perpetrated by a state upon its own citizens. The offensive power of the state is incalculably higher than the defense, defensive power of any citizen, no matter how wealthy and organized. And this is especially true for modern states. Worse still, the tool of this persecution is a fee that citizens are supposed to pay to enjoy benefits, not sorrow. The case of Taiji Men in Taiwan is a textbook example of these problems. Here, the power of the state to tax citizens was transformed into a weapon to prevent some taxpayers from enjoying their fundamental right to freedom of religion or belief. And this is my second point for today. 
My third point for today comes in the shape of a question. Why should the world bother for a domestic case of fiscal justice or injustice in Taiwan? The answer, the answer is quite simple and double-folded. Because the Taiji Men case is essentially not a matter of mere fiscal justice, but of religious freedom and human rights. And so it is not only a domestic Taiwanese affair. I can't help but remind me and you of the shortest, sharpest, and most clear definition of human rights ever, peculiar in its historical formulation, but universal in its value, in a simple as well as, su as a sound philosophy of both realism and spirituality. It is the definition, definition enshrined in the United States Declaration of Independence, and I quote directly. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Liberty. With no liberty, there is no humanity, there are then no rights. The first among human liberties is religious liberty, since it regulates the most fundamental human question. Does God exist or not? Hence, how human beings organize their lives and societies. From religious freedom come the right to free speech, free press, free assembly, and free education. Thirdly, the pursuit of happiness. The true meaning of this expression is that out of their right to life and their liberty, human beings should let be free to envision and promote a society which can help them to live the, the good life. On Decem December 13th, a group of human rights activists and scholars decided to act in favor of Taiji men by writing directly to Dr. Tsai Ing-wen, President of the Republic of China. Bitter Winter has published their letter, which is all the more important because it comes from, from independent observers. I briefly quote from that letter. This drama, the signer says, is obviously detrimental to the hard-earned fame of Taiwan as a beacon of democracy and human rights in a region plugged by dictatorships, end of quote. Referring to the false tax evasion accusation and the government sizing of Taiji Men property, the signers add, it may seem that this is a battle about money, but in fact, it is not. Taiji Men has spent in legal fees alone in 25 years of struggles more than they would have paid had they settled with the National Taxation Bureau. It was for reason of conscience and justice that they refused to settle. By settling, they would have admitted that they had been guilty of tax evasions, something that it is against both their principles and factual truth, end of quote. And the scholars in the letter conclude, after 25 years, frankly, it cannot be enough to answer that this matter should be solved at the administrative or judiciary level. This has already been promised before and has not happened. At this stage, only an intervention by the government and the president of Taiwan can rectify the discriminatory action of the National Taxation Bureau and the National Enforcement Agency. Only they can cancel the unjust tax bill and give back to Taiji men their sacred land. Experience has taught that without this political intervention, nothing will happen. It is no longer only a group of concerned Taiwanese citizens, it is a larger international community of scholars and human rights activists that urges you to act decisively and urgently, end of quote. Principles, truth, 
an excellent preparation of the keywords of this important letter. And I am very proud to be one of the signers. So, Dr. Tsai Ing Wen, President of the Republic of China, the world is now watching you, expecting your answer. Michael Respinti, Xinsan, Belsu, Kosai, He Kong Mi, Vito, Kong Kong Di Ye, Fu Fu, Kyoke Sui Kim, Yong Vi, Fake Fong Se, Kosai, Ju He, Chin Fan, Kong Mi, Si Yu Ken, Choi San Ken, Ke Ki Bun Ken Di, Kai Ki Mo An Ken, Nda He, Choi Zen Mon Ti, Zong Kao Si Yu Ken, Ni Ken Yi Ti, He Kwe Ka, Jong Kong Mi, Kosai Ke Ken Di, 转发一种武器信用持有人权破坏安全另一下向我来看马西莫因特罗威主博士的记者会提出关心他们把安全西点生命威胁啊The first press conference on the Taiji Man case in Taiwan is really an historical event and it supplements the press conference of December 7 in Washington, D.C., which was attended by representatives of federal agencies, uh, parliament, uh, and the media. Uh, historical events are always also historical uh, opportunities, and uh, Taiwan should not miss it. I will propose to you four statements, uh, and please listen to them, they are important. Statement number one, all the international scholars and the human rights experts who have studied the Taiji Man case are friends of Taiwan and support Taiwan. And they are aware of Taiwan's current problems and supporting Taiwan is not obvious and comes uh, at a price. A great uh, friend of my wife, who is herself a former Lithuanian diplomat, is very much in the news in these days because uh, she was, uh, until a few days ago, in charge uh, of the embassy of Lithuania in uh, Beijing after the ambassador had to leave because of uh, Lithuania's support for Taiwan. And she and other Lithuanian uh, diplomats were informed that on uh, December 14, the last, uh, they would lose their diplomatic uh, immunity. So they hastily left uh, Beijing, and even for their security, they had to be escorted to the airport by diplomats from other European countries. It was something unheard of in diplomatic history. And I mentioned this because it's one of the facts that shows that stating publicly that you are a friend of Taiwan is not easy. So when we say we are friends of Taiwan, we mean it. And those who doubt it uh, are offending us. Statement number two, as friends of Taiwan, we care about the international image of Taiwan. As scholars, we know that today wars are not fought by army and navy only. Words are fought on the media, on the internet, on social network. And supporting Taiwan is only possible if Taiwan's image is preserved. It is impossible to support Taiwan as a beacon of democracy and human rights if at the same time there are people in the streets of Taiwan protesting that their human rights have been violated. 
Statement number three, the international image of Taiwan will continue to suffer if the Taiji Man case is not solved. I was in uh, Washington DC earlier this month uh, and visited uh, uh, members of the parliament, uh, influential uh, journalists uh, and uh, specialists of human rights in the US uh, uh, administration uh, discussing the Taiji Man case. And they were all truly astonished that in Taiwan uh, apparently nobody understands uh, that if this problem uh, is not solved, uh, it may destroy the image of the ROC. That there are final decisions uh, or bureaucrats who want to save their face is totally unimportant. There are thousands in the streets of Taiwan and now also in the United States protesting and claiming that Taiwan does not protect human rights and religious liberty. And there are dozens of scholars and human rights experts internationally who complained about the Taiji Man case in events every month. Not solving the Taiji Man case is the best gift Taiwan can make to its enemies. To borrow a famous sentence attributed to Lenin, the government is graciously supplying to its enemies the rope they will use to hang Taiwan. Statement number four, the only possible solution is political. Make no mistake, at this stage, the question is no longer whether the Taiji men did they are right. Everybody agrees they are right. The tax bills for all years other than 92 were corrected to zero. Nothing different happened in 92 with respect to the other years. So taxing the Taiji men for 92 is unfair and unjust. In reality, the government itself does not deny it. It says that for 92, the statute of limitation has expired, hence the tax bill and the enforcement cannot be revoked. Well, in democratic countries, there are provisions to rectify decisions that are obviously against justice and human rights, even after statutes of limitation have expired. Now, we are told that Taiwan is different. This is not the case in Taiwan. If this is true, it does not mean, however, that the Taiji Man case cannot be solved. It means that there is no administrative or legal solution, but the case obviously still needs to be solved. And this leaves only one solution, the political solution. 25 senior international scholars and human rights activists just wrote this month to President Tsai asking for a political solution of the Taiji Man case. And on behalf of them, I solemnly reiterate this request today. President Tsai, please adopt a political solution and solve the Taiji Man case. Thank you. John Massimo, Conge, Guan Xim, Taiji Man, Anke, Men met Taiwan. He Taiwan get hope and you, get on sale. Taiwan get great G, he chong, Bun V, Fagonian, Po Hoi, Din Dong, M, Fu Taiwan. 台湾政府破坏太极门的事件本泰家平安迈向真正自由的民主国家
In Taiwan, we at Bitter Winter saw at work Taliban of the National Tax Bureau or Taliban of the Administrative Enforcement Agency. This is why we are long persecution of a peaceful spiritual movement in a democratic country such as Taiwan. Taiwan. The Taijin case is internationally exemplary it's important, and yes, we love it. Our voice will not be silenced until the voice of justice will speak and solve the case.